Hey Rock Gamers, it is a Sunday night for me, start of a new week in the Rise of Kingdoms schedule. There is not a lot going on for us, we got Soroli back on the here, Esmeraldas, I just take the free one on, the, on Esmeraldas, I do not have the gem numbers to be able to dive into this. This is this is a whales event, in my opinion. Uh, there's Tempest. I will probably knock that out uh, in the next couple couple nights. Got a week to get it done for the weekly rewards. I I don't get too worried about getting on it right away. Um. Now or never, I'm not going to spend a lot of speed ups on on this. It is. You got someone spent 333,000 minutes worth of speed ups already. That's just. There's other events that I'm, I'm going to spend my speed ups on. Holy Conquer, I just finished uh, getting this done. This is an easy one. There are opportunities all over the map to get. Uh, guardians, basically I use three marchers, hit two guardians, done. Collect the runes, you're done. Fort Siege, you should be doing forts pretty much 24-7 to use up your AP anyway. So this is an easy one to get out of the road. Um, really, it's you've got two days to get 20 forts. You should have that in one day, really. You should hit forts really quick. Ark of Osiris this week. Uh, looking forward to getting, you know, this is another one you get. If you're into a golden battlefield, five golden heads if you lose, ten if you win. Kind of can be in between there, depending on how you do. Um, our next Mightiest Governor is Saladin again. I have him at 5551. Five, our last Saladin I came in part way through, it was harder to get the points I needed to be in there where I needed to be we'll see if I'm picked again to to be in a top 15 spot I didn't make it in because I was busy with the drama in 1837 at the end so I couldn't ensure that I got into the top 15 it's okay it didn't didn't bother me too much just want to mention here that we had a few people spend a lot of money gave us golden chests. We are super appreciative when that happens. Um, take whatever you get on those. Got some good rewards. I'll show you in my items before I cash them in. I got over four thousand VIP points from those golden chests and not from those purchases. That helps. That helps us free to play and low spenders a lot. Um, a lot of, I would say, a good 400,000 of my points is probably from other people buying chests. At least that, maybe more. I've a few times spent the 50,000 gems on VIP to get, to get myself up there as well, but a lot of that is, is that, uh, benefit from being in alliance with spenders in order to do that though that you have to be worth their while so i i make it worth their while with my activity i am a really active player i spend a lot of hours in the game giving that value for the other people in my alliance and i help out with organizing things right now i with uh with the Alliance, I'm in charge of events, so I, I keep a close tab on on on, on the uh, calendar, and I will make note of what's coming up. Looking forward to the Golden Kingdom again. I it's, Some people find it a grind, and they don't like it. I actually find it fun. It's, uh, it's... 
I find that you learn a little bit about the game, and you uh, you pick up kind of the benefits of certain buffs and debuffs and that, and and that helps you when you're deciding picking on your commanders as well because you can read those buffs in Golden King and you can read them on the commanders and then you get a, a sense for what works and what doesn't for you and how you want to play. Because there, as much as there are meta commanders that do better together, you, you don't, not the, the free to play and low spinners don't always have all the commanders. So then they've got to make, make combinations that, that will work for them out of what they do have. And I, I think Golden Kingdom's good for that myself. Feel the storehouse. Um, this is this is one I used to really watch to to get those these commander pick chests. Um, because you know every everything you can get free for these some of these commanders is better. But now the last one that I've got to get up here is, or I should say, Siondiak is on our last skill. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to use those pick chests on her anymore because then the sculptures I get from gold keys are wasted. I'm thinking I'm going to switch and start spending those those on, on this guy, Ishida Mitsuneri. Um, not for any particular reason, just I figure Siondok, uh, 71 sculptures are going to come quicker than I think from the Golden Keys. Just my personal opinion. I already have Cleo expertise. It's just a matter of time before they they get expertised. Um, personally, that's something I, I would like to see. Um, I would, I'd really like to see uh, Lilith add in another commander on that. Um, whether they add in a, a legendary gatherer and, and include her in, or him into the, into those chests, or whether they just take another gold key commander and add, add him into the chests, like Ragnar or something like that, because soon it's going to be the vast majority of people that, that have those three commanders expertise and it's going to be kind of like a pointless event and I think it's it behooves Lilith to make sure that they, they have that worth something also on the docket I just wanted to make note I will go there in a little bit to start working with the with the alliance I'm with now but I migrated my 13 account as you can see there to 2144 and I took home 20 Bacalls as we were messing with their fixed MG with the traders there so we are most of us are or I guess I shouldn't say most of us a good lot of us left there are a lot of people looking to escape 1837 it is they're going to be in turmoil for a long time for anyone that is uh, when they get in when they get forced into KBK because eventually they they will they won't be able to delay it any longer to try and move people out um, they they're going to get someone is going to get stuck with them and they it really is the terminology is stuck with them they um, they're not trustworthy. If you get stuck with them in your camp, I feel sorry for you. I really do. Um, if, if you are in the same KVK with them and the other two camps have made an alliance, ask if you can join with them and just beat up on whatever camp 1837 is in because... You just cannot ally yourself at all with those, uh, with that, 
that group. They are not trustworthy. They will turn on you in a dime if they think that they can get a little bit more out of something. So keep note of that. I am very grateful to 2144 for bringing us in. I look forward to fighting with them. Right now, I I made the mistake of moving my 3001 account. I panicked when the shields ran out and moved it to 2253 because I wasn't sure the 2144 was going through and I thought I might be moving that account to, to 2253. It turns out there's little bit of controversy there but what's some changeover in leadership and I wasn't sure that I wanted to move back there so so 3001 will be there for 30 days 29 more now and then I'll bring it in have two accounts supporting 13 but that's going to be a little bit down the road for that no big deal uh, 13 you know um 99B can, can get the resources for 13 for for now. It'll be okay. It's 99 that needs a lot more resources, and I have a lot there. And that is where, where we are at right now. I am going to grind out some forts for a while, use up my AP. See, I just finished one there. Let's look for another one. Any fort will do. I don't care. Oh. Oh, it doesn't look. I am waiting for someone to return. I have marches. I haven't gotten back yet. So. Anyway. I will keep grinding for the night. And my plan is when Golden Kingdom... Uh starts up tomorrow after reset I will I will probably grind that out pretty quick with 99 and I'll record that and put it on it to uh, be a little bit different not being able to use go on again or maybe I can I, I can't remember whether I can use use those uh, season of conquest commanders in golden king when I'm not in season of conquest so it's, I guess we'll find that out tomorrow and even if I can, I can't move my equi my uh, equipment to it, so it'll be a, it would be an equipmentless one. So anyway, you have fun playing Rise of Kingdoms.